You're watching Dukascopy TV. I'm Elaine Stenson. Very positive data from Japan right now, but an aging population and low birth rates will reduce the size of Japan's workforce dramatically over the next decade. This may severely cut the country's long term growth potential, even assuming a best case future scenario in which that shortage of workers drives up wages and spurs a greater proportion of Japanese adults to enter the workforce, the Credit Suisse Bank expects that the economy's maximum possible growth rate will fall by about a tenth of a percent each year for the next 15 years. The worst case scenario in which labour force participation rates stay where they are right now puts the decline at half a percent a year. Joining me on the line to look at this further is Tetsuya Inoue from the Nomura Research Institute in Tokyo. Tetsuya, Japan's aging population and low birth rate could potentially slash the country's long-term growth potential. How concerned should Japan be about this? Yeah, actually, uh, we have, uh, in a sense, we have already observed the negative effects. Uh, and uh, on on the demand uh, on the supply side front, that the, the you know that the per capita G, uh, GDP growth rate for Japan is comparable to the major uh, economies such uh, in, uh, on the European continent as well as the U.S. But if you take into account of the negative impacts from the uh, diminish, uh, the uh, uh, diminishing the size of the uh, labor force effects, that the our growth rate as a whole has been uh, has been lackluster, you, uh, as you know. And on the demand side, you know that the, in spite of the uh, improved sentiment by Abenomics or the, you know, the QQE by the bit, uh, the Bank of Japan. There is a uh, the uh, I think there is a the persistent pessimism or skeptic uh, skepticism among the managers of corporations that uh, they are very cautious about increasing the size of business investment, especially in the uh, domestic market, uh, because of the pro the uh, the, the uh, because of the lackluster or pessimistic uh, the uh, outlook. Of their uh, of that uh, of our domestic demand from Japanese economy. What problems might we see as a result? The first part of the the uh, problem, which is the uh, diminishing labor force size, will be in relation to the the uh, supply side of Japanese economy. In other words, that the if uh, and when the uh, we suffer from the uh, diminishing diminishing labor force, the size of the labor force. That the uh, potential growth rate will be, uh, of course, lower than than previously observed. This is a supply side problem, and the uh, the diminishing the size of the population itself, or the uh, the uh, aging society, uh, as you as you mentioned, is uh, of course related to the demand side of the economy because of the the when coupled with the uh, uh, the concerns about future costs of pension systems or the uh, longevity risks, I think that the senior people would like to consume as uh, as the as uh, that they they consumed when they were young. So that the that's why that the, this is in relation to the demand side of the Japanese economy. So that the the as all, uh, all in all, that the, the, they have the, the significant impact on, on the future course of Japanese economy. Okay, and how soon could we see the negative effects? Yeah, actually, uh, we have, uh, in a sense, we have already observed the negative effects. Uh, and uh, on on the demand uh, on the supply side front, that the, the you know that the per capita G, uh, GDP growth rate for Japan is comparable to the major uh, economies such, uh, in, uh, on the European continent as well as the U.S. But if you take into account of the negative impacts from the, uh, diminish, uh, the uh, uh, diminishing the size of the uh, labor force effects, that the, our growth rate as a whole has been, uh, has been lackluster, uh, as you know. And on the demand side, you know that the, in spite of the uh, improved sentiment by Abenomics or the, you know, the QQE by the, bit, uh, the Bank of Japan, there is a, uh, the, uh, 
I think there is a the persistent pessimism or skeptic uh, skepticism among the managers of corporations that uh, they are very cautious about increasing the size of business investment, especially in the uh, domestic market, uh, because of the pro- the uh, the, the uh, because of the lackluster or pessimistic uh, the uh, outlook of their. Uh, of, the, uh, of our domestic demand from Japanese economy. Okay, and one of the solutions to this um, ha- that's been suggested would be was immigration. How can this be encouraged by the Japanese government? And do you think that this would be enough? Mm, I think that the, the I think that as you imply that the encourage immigration, that the realizing the increasing the number of immigration would be, uh, I think that the most uh, the powerful um, remedy for the uh, for the situation that I mentioned. But you know that the Japanese general public are still reluctant to to accept a large number of immigrants, especially from the Asian regions. So this is a highly political problem or delicate problem for Japanese society. So that's why you know that the prime minister himself, that while that the, he uh, mentioned that the, he w- he would like to encourage the uh, in- increasing number of immigration, but at the same time that they would like to, uh, he would like to encourage women uh, to participate more in the labour market. One of the solutions would be to encourage immigration, but how could this be encouraged by the government? And do you think that this would be enough? Yeah, this is uh, this is again that in a sense a tough question because that the while that the, some of the measures uh, some of the measures uh, would be effective to encourage women to participate in the market. For example, that the the Japanese government under the uh, under the initiative of economics that they would like to increase the number of nursing schools, uh, which would be relieving the uh, burdens for household uh, works for women. Uh, uh, who are already married, but uh, as you know, that the large part of the problem would be more uh, uh, could be more found uh, in the minds or the, the practices or the traditions of Japanese society. So that the in a sense that the Japanese gentlemen should be more acceptive to to uh, f- to the uh, the new practices that the women. Uh, work outside of their houses. So this is, in a sense, takes a little bit uh, longer time to realize the uh, this important uh, solutions or initiative, but the, which I think, uh, in my view, that the, we should tackle with this uh, the uh, challenges. What other solutions, in your opinion, could remedy the situation? The Prime Minister himself, that while that the, he uh, mentioned that the, he, w- he would like to encourage the uh, Increasing number of immigration, but at the same time that they would like, to, uh, he would like to encourage women uh, to participate more in the labor market. While that the, some of the measures, uh, some of the measures uh, would be effective to encourage women to participate in the market. For example, that the, the Japanese government under the uh, under the initiative of economics that they would like to increase the number of nursing schools. Uh, which would be relieving the uh, burdens for household uh, works for women uh, uh, who are already married. But uh, as you know, that the large part of the problem would be more uh, uh, could be more found uh, in the minds or the, the practices or the traditions of Japanese society. So that the in a sense that the Japanese gentlemen should be more acceptive to to uh, f- to the uh, the new practices that the women uh, work outside of their houses. So this is in the sense takes a little bit uh, longer time to realize the uh, this important uh, solutions or initiative. But the, which I think, uh, in my view, that the, we should tackle with this uh, the uh, challenges. Tetsuya, thank you so much for joining me on the line today. And that's all from me for now. But do check back later for further updates and interviews from the team. Bye for now.